Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for your trust in building this uh, weather community. Now, uh, two main areas to watch still. It's this area here, and you can now see it flaring up in the Western Caribbean. Thank you for all the comments. We've had rain in parts of Belize, San Andres, Providencia, parts of Honduras, Nicaragua, some really heavy rain. Now this spot, I'm not sure if it is going to develop yet, but regardless, we know that when we get big areas of rain right here, we do not need a name system for the potential of some serious flooding. So that's a high concern. I'll get into the chances that area becomes a tropical storm and a hurricane. We are in monitor mode. I'll cover that, but I am I'm uh, more certain, or at least a higher likelihood, that that area out in the Atlantic does eventually develop. So there's now a higher chance that this spot here, here's the coast of Africa, here we are Barbados, Dominica, Trinidad, uh, St. Lucia, Antigua and Barbuda, it is a higher likelihood at this point that eventually this area becomes a tropical storm or a hurricane. So two areas to watch still, lots of time to monitor both. I'm a little more concerned obviously about that area close to home since it is close to home. So I wanna cover that, but real quickly, this here, you can see right now there's not a lot with it. You're like, hey, how is that going to become a tropical storm or hurricane? Well, in the short term, it is not, not for the next few days. This is my dry air tracker. And you see this orange shading in here that's well above our heads. Uh, it's a water vapor loop. Uh, there's a lot of dry air above our heads. I don't wanna get too sciencey, but in the short term, this is gonna deal with dry air, which is good. So there won't be some development, but as it approaches us in parts of the Northeastern Caribbean, that's when conditions become more conducive for development. So let's start here close to home. We are in monitor mode, the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, right on the edge of Costa Rica and keeping an eye on Guatemala and El Salvador as that rain builds. What is monitor mode? It's just a wait and see, right? I don't want to waste any of your time, your resources, uh, and we all have different means. So we are just kind of spreading the word that, hey, there's a chance of a named storm, but at the least, the biggest concern right now, the next few days, the rain is going to build. Now I'm going to keep an eye on Jamaica and the Cayman Islands. Uh, down the road, we can see that rain chance bumping up, especially by uh, the middle of the uh, week. So we can see a higher chance of rain, even over toward Cuba, but monitor mode right now, much of Central America. So thank you for spreading the word about this channel, kind of getting the correct information out there. I know there's a lot of crazy information out there right now. So I do this channel for safety and accuracy. And you can see here, starting close to home, this area here, uh, not much of a change from yesterday. The rain is the biggest concern. The European model still does not have this develop into a named storm. The American model does have it develop into a hurricane, but it's kind of put it a little bit more back in time, which tells me it's not completely accurate at this uh, point. We'll cover more of that. The Canadian model does not have this becoming a storm, and the Icon German model has this becoming either a tropical depression or a tropical storm. It starts to really see something spinning up. But the biggest threat, regardless of this here, is that rain, so watching that. now. That second area, right? I know there's plenty to cover, so thank you for your patience. That second area out here, there is now a higher likelihood this becomes a hurricane or a tropical storm down the road, not in the short term. Remember, I mentioned that dry air. The European model and the American models, two of the best models around, both have this area eventually becoming a hurricane as uh, we get a little closer to the Northern Caribbean and the uh, Bahamas. Canadian model has no storm. Uh, the ICON model also has this well down the road, eventually becoming a hurricane. So you can see how things are very active out, out there now in the Atlantic Basin and are only going to get a more active. So just trying to get the correct information out there. So you can pick a spot on the map uh, where you are. Now for the United States, high pressure uh, is gonna be a blocker, at least in the short term, keeping things away for now. Uh, but here's this one spot here that we're watching in Central America, and I'm gonna zoom down in the Caribbean and get into the rain totals and the wave heights in this video, and then watching that uh, area there. So this is the American model. Now, as we take you out into the middle of the week, so I'm jumping ahead here, still not showing at this point something developing. Yesterday at this time, it was already showing a hurricane uh, by about Tuesday and Wednesday. It's not anymore, which tells me the American model is a little bit off. It's kind of pushing things down the road. We have these fronts up here, but they stay up here. So everything that's down here just generally continues to work off to the west. These fronts aren't kind of grabbing anything. Now, as we go out in time here, this is by the time we get into Thursday of the upcoming week, the American model does have 
have this start to develop into a tropical storm and then eventually a hurricane. Uh, very close to Honduras and Nicaragua. Here's Jamaica with some extra rain. But let's wait and see on that because yesterday it was showing it kind of early in the week. Now it's later in the week. There's that other spot that is going to roll its way uh, near the Caribbean. Now, this is by the time we get into Friday, it has whatever tries to develop tropical storm or hurricane working into Central America Thursday and Friday. Uh, but let's see if that does happen. At the least, the really heavy rain is going to happen. And then this spot here rolling into the Caribbean. Now, the American model does kind of go back and forth on this uh, as far as the uh, development on that. Let me take you on time further. This here is a week from now. Uh, so as we get into next Sunday, the American model, the latest run actually has this trying to develop into a tropical storm, maybe a hurricane. Uh, kind of goes back and forth. Sometimes it has a hurricane over here. So overall, just kind of looking at the last few runs of the American model, kind of average it. It does eventually have it into uh, uh, develop into a hurricane, but we'll see. And then there's that extra rain still trying to pull back toward Mexico uh, into the uh, Bay of Campeche from whatever may develop. So the American model, just to sum this up, has this first area trying to develop and then working its way into Central America. The second spot uh, it most likely has it becoming a hurricane, but it's a little bit confused as uh, where it will go. That's down the road. Now, the European model, which seems to have a better handle on what's going on right now and did do a good job with Milton, so if I'm looking at kind of my forecast, this is matching up with the environment. Point being, I'm leaning toward the European model, showing a lot of rain building in the Western Caribbean and Central America, but not necessarily a named system. But look at all the green. So, uh, for example, here we are in Jamaica, here we are in Cuba, and you can see all this green in here. So that high chance of rain, which could be some life-threatening flooding in some spots. This here is on Wednesday, but not a named system. And then watching the next area that's going to roll in, that one that's out there, the Atlantic. In at least the short term, high pressure is in control to the north. Uh, so that is a blocker for Florida up toward North Carolina, who just had to deal with uh, both Helene and, of course, uh, Milton. So we're thinking of our friends uh, here. Now that blocker is in place, at least uh, temporarily, which is a good thing for the U.S. Uh, with that said, we never wish a storm on anyone, period. But you see here the European model by Thursday, there's a lot of rain. So those totals are really going to start to stack up across Central America. Even parts of Cuba, Cayman Islands, and Jamaica. But there we go. There's that next spot. Here are the fronts up to the north. Here's Bermuda, there's that next area. Now, uh, high pressure is still a blocker in the United States, but you see this area here. Now, I showed you at the beginning of this video, it's not going to develop the next few days. It's fighting that dry air. But once it gets closer to the Caribbean, that's when it could start to develop. Uh, develop. So uh, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis, obviously, uh, Saba, Stacia, U.S., British Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, watching this carefully to see when this may want to spin up. This would be near Friday. And again, I like to tell you what I know and I don't know. I'm leaning toward the American model as far as the solution on both of these. Heavy rain, Central America, and then eventual development out of this. This here would be by Saturday. The European model saying somewhere in here, maybe maybe near Puerto Rico, we're not in monitor mode at all, uh, that we could see something spinning up like a tropical storm and then eventually a hurricane. Does it move into the Bahamas? Does it move into Haiti and the Dominican Republic? This would be over a week from now, next Monday. It's a wait and see. But the point being here is it does show development. Now, for the U.S., high pressure is still a blocker. Most of the very long-term models are taking what may try to develop and then eventually kind of curving it away. But let, this is way down the road. It is hard to forecast the weather three to four days out. We're talking about trying to figure out what's going to happen in the future. And this here is about six, seven, eight, nine days out. So let's wait and see on that. But the European model uh, does show development out of that area that is in the Atlantic. It does not show as much development in that area that is near Central America. Uh, but that first concern is what's going on in Central America with that high chance of rain and flooding. Now, the area in the Atlantic, you can see all the models trying to take this toward us in the northeastern Caribbean, anywhere from Barbados, St. Lucia, north. Uh, so uh, obviously we are watching this. The good news is, though, at least the next couple of days, that dry air. So not expecting any development. But we're going to see a lot of this stuff on social media, and it does look scary. We have something kind of maybe point it right at us. But let's see what it is uh, before we go forward. I will give you plenty of time to prepare. If uh, something is going to head to us, we'll go island by island. I'll cover that all for us as we go forward. But you see, this is those computer models going out in time. This is a day out in time two days, three days, three days out in time, it's below that green shading. So it's still not even a name system. 
So again, no development the next several days. As we go way out in time, some of the models start to hint at more development as this does get closer to us in the Caribbean and across the Bahamas. But that is well down the road, right? Uh, so lots of time. I'll be fine tuning that over the next couple days. Now water temperatures, uh, where uh, Milton went, so even where Helene went, you see this blue shading here, uh, have dropped off the last uh, seven days. So uh, that is good for the Gulf of Mexico. You see these yellow pockets in here. We're talking about some of the water temperatures just in the low 80s. Uh, in the wake of what we saw with Milton. But these two areas I'm watching, Western Caribbean and what will try to move toward parts of us in the Eastern Caribbean, the water here is generally untouched and the water temperatures are about 30 degrees Celsius and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's not ideal because uh, that could allow things to spin up as we get down the road. Now, the next name on the list is Nadine. There's been a lot of fake tracks out there uh, regarding uh, Nadine. Nadine doesn't even exist exist yet. I'm just watching these two spots. Whatever one gets a name first, the next name on the list is Nadine, then Oscar, Patty, and uh, Raphael, uh, and then Sarah, Tony, Valerie, and William as we get down the list. Hopefully we don't have any names, but uh, the next name on the list will be Nadine, and that does not exist at this uh, point. Now, the sea is getting choppier. Those swells, of course, Northern Caribbean from uh, what was left of Milton that did fall apart. Uh, and you see here as we go out in time, taking you through it, just a little bit choppy central, and then things are gonna build in the Western Caribbean. This here is by Wednesday, watching these two spots by the end of the week, Western Caribbean, even parts of the Gulf, definitely getting a choppier seas building, and then watching this area that's over here, uh, that could be the next name system as well, uh, that will be approaching coming in from the Atlantic. So seas are gonna build, but it just kinda depends on what will develop. But you see in the short term, this was my concern from yesterday's video, all of this rain building, see these brighter colors in here, that's telling me we have taller clouds in that, those tropical downpours. Please keep me posted in the comments what you're getting or not getting. So just simply watching this area, monitor mode, to see if it does if it does develop potentially later this week. Short term, here we go through the day, watching out for some spotty showers and storms, Barbados, St. Lucia, Dominica, down through our Trinidad, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, but there are some of the heavier rain, San Andres, Providencia, mainly south of the Cayman Islands and Jamaica, but Honduras, Roatan, uh, watching out for that chance of, higher chance of rain the next few days. This here's tomorrow, spotty showers, Eastern Caribbean, one or two Haiti and the uh, DR. Uh, but look at that rain, Panama, Costa Rica, really building in here, but not showing any formation as of yet. And then as we work our way into Tuesday, some of this moisture will feed a little bit more to the north. So especially by Wednesday, that's when we would see a better chance of rain as we work our way into uh, Jamaica. You see here going out in time, uh, Jamaica getting clipped by a better chance of rain on Wednesday. And then we'll see at this point if it is going to uh, develop into a tropical storm or a hurricane. Not seeing that right now. Uh, but you could clearly see a lot of rain in the Western Caribbean. And then here comes that other area that once it gets closer to us should start to uh, develop. So you see here as we work our way into Thursday, the American model tries to uh, spin this up into a named system right here. And then you could see this other area here, but wait and see, does this move into the Caribbean? Does it kind of hook a little bit more? We'll see as we go over the next few days together. Now also watching anything kind of spinning up here toward Bermuda, there right there is what is left of Milton and that is scooting its way up toward as a windmaker for some of our friends in parts of Western Europe. Always thinking of them down the road because they kind of get the remnants of this, but big windmakers. Short-term Atlantic region of Canada, New Brunswick, uh, over toward uh, Newfoundland. Coming out of Quebec, we've got a big front moving in, so that colder air is going to be wrapping around it even for parts of New England as we get into the uh, upcoming week with a uh, fall front that is headed in. But there are some of the higher totals. Freeport, now you get down through mainly the northern and central Bahamas where we could get a better chance of rain the next couple days. 75 millimeters to 100 millimeters of rain or three to four inches of rain. Getting clipped by some showers and storms as we work our way into Cuba. Wait and see by a mid to late week how much rain we may get in the Cayman Islands and over toward a Jamaica with this area that's building in the Western Caribbean. Spotty shower could give us a quick inch of rain for some of us, but not a lot. You see Puerto Rico, Ceiba, Stacia, Montserrat, rain chance stays kind of minimal. Here we get a few more, Dominica through Martinique, down through Grenada and Trinidad, Barbados, St. Lucia, better chance of getting at least some scattered showers and storms, uh, 25 millimeters to 50 millimeters of rain, or an inch or two of rain will be possible. Suriname, Guyana, Northeastern Venezuela could see a passing shower, but this is where that 
that rain is going to really build. This white and black shading 100 millimeters to 150 millimeters of rain over the next three days. Four to six inches of rain. Some of these brighter colors tell me we could get even more. So again, let us know in the comments what, what we're getting or not getting as far as the rain goes the next few days. This is the spot to watch. We get through Mexico City to the north. Generally, the drier conditions all the way up through uh, Texas where we desperately need to get some rain. So the rain chance will be building as we go through the week. We'll see how this shakes out for us across uh, Jamaica, Cayman Islands. Rain chance will bump up uh, as we work our way into Tuesday and Wednesday. Trinidad and Tobago, some scattered showers and storms. May get a couple around later today as you're coming back in from church. 50% chance in Barbados. So unsettled the next few days. In the next three days in St. Lucia, about a 40 to 50% chance. 40 to 50% chance the next two days in Grenada. 40 to 50% chance St. Vincent and the Grenadines. There are those scattered showers for us in the southeastern Caribbean. Martinique, 30% chance today, 50% chance tomorrow. Generally the same thing in Dominica with some spotty showers. Then as we lift to the north, the rain chance drops off some in Guadeloupe. Northeastern Caribbean, at least the next three days, were drier. Antigua, Barbuda, of course, all eyes on what's going on out there in the Atlantic. As of now, short term, the rain chance is not very high. St. Kitts, Nevis, Montserrat, rain chance not very high. Same thing in Guilla and St. Bart's. The next three days, that rain chance stays low. St. Martin, St. Anastasia, just about a 20% chance. 30% chance as we get through uh, Puerto Rico. 20 to 30% chance U.S. British Virgin Islands, one or two. Could get a few more showers. Uh, as I mentioned, northern and central Bahamas. Southern Bahamas looking a little bit uh, better, but even southern Bahamas back into the Turks and Caicos, about a 30 to 40% chance. Isolated shower storm in the Dominican Republic. Haiti, we're mainly dry today as we get over toward uh, Port-au-Prince. Uh, we work our way into uh, Monday tomorrow. Rain chance about 20%. Staying on the low side, Belize, Ladyville, uh, watching out for a couple showers, Belize City. We may get a, a few of those uh, kind of popping up. Rain chance stays on the small side, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, but there is a chance we get clipped by a shower or two. But you see that rain chance that's dropped off in Guyana. Rain chance very low as we work our way back towards Suriname. Could get a couple scattered showers and storms, Cuba, especially central and eastern sections the next few days in Costa Rica and Panama. Let me know how you're doing, your location, uh, what you got going on for some rain. If we do get any flooding as that builds, you see the rain chance in Nicaragua. We're up to an 80% chance on Tuesday. That would be some flooding rain. Watching out for the flood potential, which is getting higher in Honduras. And we'll see how much rain kind of builds back toward Guatemala and El Salvador as that week goes on. But Mexico City to the north, that's where we generally have some of the drier conditions. Yucatan as well, as we get deeper into the week, that rain Rain chance will be making a climb, uh, beat over toward Campeche, Merida, uh, Cozumel, and Cancun. Northern Colombia rain chance about 40 to 50 percent chance. Very isolated as we work our way into northern Venezuela. And we'll keep an eye on that rain chance starting to build by uh, later into the week as we work our way into Bermuda. So all eyes first on the Western Caribbean. We're in monitor mode. Doesn't mean we're doing anything other than spreading the word about uh, the heavy rain threat. That is the initial concern, the river crossings, the flooding, the mudslides, and then in the Atlantic, watching out for a higher chance of rain, not on the short term, but as we get deeper into the upcoming week. So I'll be tracking that. So again, thank you for your trust and patience as we continue to march through a way too busy hurricane season. We need this to end. I hope you have a good rest of your day.